Whoa! Hadouken! Not Hadouken! What could possibly go wrong here? <laughs> so, I was having a look around on the um, Xbox kind of store, and I come across a game called Kung Fu Fighting, and it was, what, a couple of quid? I was thinking, look, if it's terrible, it doesn't cost me a lot of money. But it probably is terrible. With the name of it just like that, I mean, there's not many options. There's no start up to it. It literally goes straight in. I mean, I don't know what Woe to Play is. It should be How to Play. H O W, not H W O. As opposed to Who, who to Play. I mean, you'd think you'd notice that before you released it, so that's not a good start. Controls, special moves, tutorials, and back. Okay, so control wise. So. This is quite obviously on Steam, hence there's keyboard controls, which is weird, but I'm gonna, I mean look, it's same as Street Fighter I suppose, heavy punch, heavy kick, left trigger, right trigger, it's, you know, it's SNES controls for Street Fighter. Let's look at special moves. Uh, oh no. Fireball, Dragon Punch. Hang on, Fireball and Dragon Punch. Hang on, Street Fighter are going to sue someone here. Let's see what it's like. Play versus CPU. So, I'm getting the vibes of, do you remember that game Fight I played, which was just utterly terrible? I mean, okay, so we've got, right, obligatory Bruce Lee character here. We've got some girl with a bandana and a choker. Uh, we've got, I can't work out that as a, a, a mental asylum outfit or as a martial arts outfit. We've got a kickboxing girl here. Okay, that's cool. We've got a girl who can be best described as dressed cosplaying as Robin Hood. Obviously the girl with the obligatory bangs in face. Um, the Tina Armstrong basically by using the hot pants and the boots with the sort of checkered shirt. Uh, we've got some thuggish tattooed bald dude who's obviously some kind of assassination art. Followed by what should be a karate outfit but looks like a sailor. Go figure. I bet this is really, really hard. Oh, oh god. So the Bruce Lee guy is called Bruce. Sorry, I was getting drowned out of things. So we've got the dojo, the gate, the rooftop, or the dojo. This is not going to end well. Round one. Fight. Whoa! Hadouken! Not Hadouken! Okay. Bit of zoning for you here. Okay. Interesting. Oh! What was that? That was good. Eat my counter, bitch. And have a wall bounce. And another wall bounce. Can I combo into it? Oh, hang on. He's just gone for a dragon punch. Hang on. The blocking isn't very good here because I actually am blocking here. I mean, I just had to just cheese him there completely. That... Yeah, it's like they the computer can block and you can't. Now, I don't know sure what that blue, battle, uh, blue bar is underneath it, but uh, we've got a character selection. Let's, let's see what each of these characters are like. So, Tarki versus Luther. Okay. So, uh, they... Hang on, what was that flight? What was that shit flight about? Okay. Okay. Wow, this is not fucking around now. It's almost like if you're not playing as Bruce Lee, you're fucked. Because this girl was utterly terrible. I mean, the, the, the controls are dodgy as hell. What's he doing? Oh my god, I actually blocked something. 
Okay. Computer priority hit is quite severe. Hmm. I notice Lu Luther seems to have some kind of. Well. Is there like some tag option in this or something? I'm not. I, I don't seem to be allowed to hit him. Apart from that sweep and that weird chop. Again, I'm not entirely sure what that kind of. that tag sort of option is. Okay. Crouching heavy kick is like only move I can really use with this terrible girl. Oh boy. Final round. Final round. When he's not doing some weird kind of crab stance. Catches him with an overhead and his combos are just... Bear in mind, it's, if this is the first time you've played this game and the computer just wails into you with a six hit combo which culminates in a wall bounce. That's that's not going to encourage you to give it a go. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is not as bad as that game fight on fucking hell, as that game fight on um, Switch. But it's pretty cat. This. I mean, it. If you think it looks strange, oh my god, I clutched that. Oh god, I've got a tiny shred of health. I just focus sash that completely. I mean, that even that win pose doesn't even look right. But like I said, I'm going to try every single character just to kind of give it a bit of a fair thing. So Frank versus Renee. Oh my god, was that a, supposed to be a lightning kick? Okay, so kind of fireball movement is... Oh! Look at this. So this is using a Hadoken movement, so it's a bit like um uh the Rek uh Fei Long's move. I've also just noticed that Frank can't kick. I'm pressing the kick buttons and it's doing absolutely nothing with Frank. Frank is well it's like Sweaty Steve Fox in Tekken, I guess. I mean, absolutely hammering the old. Uh... I mean, oh, hang on, my, my bar's going down. There's a perfect. By just by absolutely hammering the same combo. Okay. Uh. I st I'm still not sure what to think, if I'm perfectly honest. I mean, let's be honest, this is no... This is kind of like a... someone... <laughs> sure you can! Sure you can! Okay, this girl literally has a Dragon Punch as her only move. Uh, okay. The fact it's called Dragon Punch, I'm like... You know, that's, that's just kind of shameless copyright from Street Fighter, isn't it? Oh, at least she can kick. You can have another Dragon Punch. Oh, you can. I mean, there is something satisfying about knocking someone out of the air with a Dragon Punch. Even in Street Fighter. I must say... Oh, frickin' heck. Emma, Emma with the fat-ass combo. Oh, that must be a Super Dragon Punch, which kind of looks the same. <laughs> oh, she's got Fireball, is she? <coughs> And we're pulling the old seven hitter out there. Oh, I've got fireballs as well, have I? Not that I can do a lot. Hadouken! Why would someone with boxing gloves have an Hadouken? Ida. Okay, I mean... I don't know, guys, what do, what do you think of this? Is it is it just me, or is this... It's this strange Street Fighter homage. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a homage, and that that's kind of what I'm the point that I'm missing here. I 
it's just a bit weird that kind of everyone has some form of dra I mean dragon punch flash kick thing it, it I said it's a the controls are tricky relative they're, they're relatively responsive which is more than I can say for that freaking oh did you notice how when I did that dragon punch, it, the super dragon punch, I didn't get a 13 hit fucking combo off it? I do like the way the kind of the uh, the Hadoukens kind of peter off a little bit, which is kind of funny. I mean, there's elements of it which I think you know, if you're a fighting game fan. There's certain homages to it. But I don't know. Can this be taken seriously as a game? Well no, not really. You're not you're not gonna be seeing this I'm not, I'm not saying that every game should get to Evo. Okay. Cannot work out any of this girl's moves here. Oh yeah, she's got that weird lightning kick. Which well, she kind of just Tails off to the side. Oh god. Proper in the corner here. The kind of sweep where they just kind of dangle their foot on the floor is kind of shit. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but you'd, you'd expect a sweep animation to, I don't know, look a bit like a sweep. Yeah, I haven't worked out why the computer randomly gets like tag fighters in to help them. Because I don't seem to have that as an option. I mean, I'm sure if... Bloody hell, it's got absolute own there. I'm, I'm sure, like I said, someone, someone made this as a hobby on their computer and just kind of sold it for a couple of quid online. You know, fair play to you undoubtedly feel quite proud of yourself because you can't you have created something i'm just not entirely sure how great that something is i mean there's they're quite clearly street fighter fans the people who made this are quite clearly fans of street fighter Ooh, blimey look at that combat i mean to have characters basically have identical uh, skill sets I mean what is I mean what I have noticed is the kind of hit priority for the computer characters is quite horrendous Um, oh dear. um, yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of unashamed here. I mean, again, it's, I, I concur to, to, to program it so that the computer isn't either a pushover or, or absolutely annihilates you from the get go. Cannot be easy. I, 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 I concur for that. However, Being on the receiving end of a 17, 18, 19 hit combo is kind of a bit of a piss take, isn't it? Especially when this is obviously the first and possibly only time you'll, I will be playing this. Because this... It's kind of amusing to kind of see what it was like, but... I, I, I am thinking that, considering I paid, what, four quid for this, I feel a little bit ripped off. You know? <laughs> When you can pick up a, like a version of Street Fighter for four quid, and then for the same price, get this kind of weird, janky monstrosity, there is an element of feeling a bit shortchanged for one of a better matter. But you know, I didn't want this to totally be in vain. I wanted to make some content out of it, and here I am playing once again another kind of what could be described as a bootleg beat em up. As I'm now going to get hit by another 19 hit combo. Oh, it's only an 18 this time. 
Well, shows how good their combo was there, you still lost. It's a bit like Saints is unbeaten run, 25 games unbeaten and nothing to show for it. Alright, last battle, last battle then, because like I said, I just wanted to experience it. So we're going to finish on um, Sailor Moon over here. What's going on with that top? He literally does look like a freaking sailor. Oh, he's another dragon puncher. Shoryuken, Shoryuken. This is like, this is like, I'm playing like how, you know, like when you had that one cousin who got a Street Fighter for Christmas when you were a kid, doesn't tell you the controls and proceeds to dragon punch and Shoryuken you to death. So, dra dragon punch and Hadoken you to death. I don't know what happened there. The screen went black. And a nut punch to finish. There we go. Little Martin. I mean, I guess this is kind of... Jesus Christ! I'm going to get absolutely nailed with some Killer Instinct-esque combo. Which I do need to re reinstall onto the Series S, actually. Old Killer uh, 2016 Killer Instinct. I seem to be stuck in doing dragon punches repeatedly. Ooh. A bit of zoning. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yeah? No. <laughs> Fair enough. That was, um... Yeah. This... This is... This is bizarre, but okay. For four quid, it's not worth four quid. 40p maybe, yeah. Or when you get the 79p ones though, but I mean, I mean, I'm gonna have to look to see how much I pay for it. Maybe I did only pay 79p for it, and I can't really complain about it. But, why is it like, it's, it's like, well, for, I've, you know what, I've had enough of this music as well. Just bear with me while I kind of just turn the music off for this one. Say, so, if you have come this far, thank you very much for choosing and spending your time with me. If you like this video, please drop a little like. Perhaps subscribe to the channel if you're new. So Kung Fu Fighting, which I managed to pick up on the Xbox, is, I guess, like a fan-made homage to Street Fighter, but you can't take it seriously as a fighting game in its own right. Well, for a start, how to play is kind of jumps out at you. I don't, I don't know. know. You get eight characters who have pretty much two different fight sets. The animation is a little bit jank. It looks a bit jank. I mean, I appreciate they try to put combos in. I appreciate they try to put special moves in it. So, kudos for trying. But you can't charge money for this. <laughs> it's absolutely criminal that you can charge money for this. At the end of the day, this is the sort of thing you kind of expect to just download as a bit of a light-hearted fun if your mates do. And then if you were serious about making a game, then maybe you can donate to the creator to say, you know, well done, thanks for that. But to force people to pay, what, a couple of quid for it? Yeah, best thing to do, if you are curious, just watch this video and don't play it because it's, it is jank. But I just wanted to see what it was like because after playing Fight on the um, Nintendo Switch, I had to see how bad games are. And this is nowhere near as bad as Fight, don't get me wrong. For, for To be worse than Fight, it would have to be absolutely incredibly bad. And this isn't incredibly bad, it's just jank. But I suppose it's just a bit of fun to laugh at, I suppose. So guys, I'm going to leave this here. So thanks again for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.